One of the attributes that I really value in my work is a sense of spontaneity and um, what I call a I made this feeling to the work. Um, a good example of that is my Vine and also my Tree of Life collection where I've sculpted the pieces in a, in a very childlike way, in a very um, rapid way. I, in fact, I always sort of talk about how it took me five minutes to sculpt um, this particular piece. But that kind of um, energy and the spontaneity is, um, is really valuable for me and also ties in with the symbolism of the, the vitality and the sort of pulsation of, of the life force that we imagine with the vine and certainly with the symbol of the Tree of Life. The spirit of Michael's vine and Tree of Life motifs is based almost entirely on the sculptural style. The most important technique in capturing the delicate and simplified treatments is the casting process. The process begins with sand casting, an ancient and almost completely unchanged technique that uses a mixture of sand and molasses to form a temporary mold. The craftsmen place Michael's original sculpture between two boxes containing the mixture and then use their own body weight to create the impression. The sculpt is then removed and molten metal is poured into the resulting cavity. The rough casting is released, the sand is replaced and the process is repeated for each subsequent piece. Hand filing refines the castings, which are then polished and plated. There's a fairy tale like uh, almost childish quality to the way these are sculpted. I like the spontaneity and the sort of gestural quality of the immediacy of the sculpts here. They're almost as if they're illustrations from a children's book. <laughs> 